Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about tech and productivity. Today, I'll go over how to get started with Vue.js in Visual Studio Code with the Vuter extension and the Airbnb ESLint config. I certainly don't understand all of them well enough to give you a complete explanation because I too am just learning them right now. What I do know is how to get started fast with a good setup in VS Code, so I'll be going over that today. The setup details in this video can be found on my GitHub under the .files repository. And before we get started, I'm going to ask for one small favor from you guys, and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more content just like this. So in order to get started with Vue, you're going to have to first download the Vue CLI. Once you've downloaded Vue CLI, you want to go to the directory where you want to create your project. In my case, I have a workspace called dev and inside of here, I have two Git repositories. The first is code reviews, the second is random. So I'm just going to be creating this inside of random. So let's cd into random. And once we cd into here, we just create a view project by doing view create sample project. And as we're creating this project, it's going to ask us to configure a few settings. So we want to manually select these settings just because I want to use the Airbnb linting styles. We're going to select view three and we're going to do Airbnb config. One of the main reasons that I like the Airbnb config, it does a lot of really nice things. For example, it has trailing commas, which I think are very useful. It also has single quotes, which I prefer over using double quotes. Uh, for strings and things like that. And so that's why we're going to be using Airbnb's config. You just Google Airbnb JavaScript style guide and they kind of have all of these references as to how to write proper code. So they have examples of like what is bad code, what is good code, what is the best code for each type of code that you might ever write. Once we have our project, Right. Once we have our project, well, you're going to notice that right now it's highlighted, but that's because I have this extension called Vuter. When you first get started with Vue and you open a Vue project inside of VS Code, you're going to notice that none of the linting is working. Right, none of the linting is working because you don't have a Vue linter. And that's when you want to search for this Vuter, uh, Vuter extension and you just want to install that. And since I already have it installed, I'm just going to enable it. And once you enable it, you'll finally get some syntax highlighting and you'll get a bunch of errors. So let's just try to go and figure out all what these errors are and how to fix them. And the first one that comes to mind is this one right here. So if you were to restart Vue, you're going to get these errors. And these errors are basically saying that it can't find package.json and it can't find these two files. So the reason this issue comes from me is because I have this sort of dev workspace and inside of dev, I have two directories and inside those directories, I have this sample project. Now, if I created this sample project at the root of this workspace, then I wouldn't have this error because package.json does exist. Now I will get the other error, which is that the J JS config or the TS config does not exist. But I did some Googling and I found that uh, I found this issue. If you read through it, you'll notice that it's just kind of a warning and you don't really care about the warning. You don't really need to fix it. You can see that syntax highlighting is working and it's just an error that you might get um, if you open projects in a subdirectory. And the way to ignore these warnings is to set this setting called Vuter Ignore Project Warning, and then you set that to true inside of your settings.json file. You want to set that, and then now if you do, if you restart Vuter, you're going to realize that these errors don't appear every time. So at this point, we have Vuter working inside of all of our Vue projects in our workspace. So if you create a new project anywhere in your workspace, Vuter is going to do the syntax highlighting and it's going to just work. Now the next thing that you're going to get an error with if you're using the Airbnb config is this format on save. One of the important things when working with code is to automatically format it. At least I think it is. And so if you save this file, Vuter is going to lint it 
based on its own standards. So if we press Command S, it's going to format with Vuter's specification. And you notice here that these quotes are now double quotes, and that conflicts with Airbnb's uh, style guide. So Airbnb's linter suggests that all quotes be single quotes, but when you save and format on save, it's going to it's going to make it double quotes. If you try to run this project, cd into random and then sample project, and then if you do an npm run serve, it's going to throw errors and it's going to not compile because it's going to say there's a double quote here, but we want single quotes. And so what we want is Vuter to use single quotes because our project is expecting single quotes. And if our project doesn't have single quotes, our project isn't going to run. So that's what we're doing here. And this is the setting that I found. So this took me a long time to find. Uh, how to solve the issue and it was really confusing but basically what we're saying is when Vuter is formatting our code uh, Vuter automatically uses prettier and prettier uses double quotes but what we want is prettier to use single quotes and so that's what I'm doing here and so now if we save the project you'll notice that this will become single quotes there and if we do a npm run serve you'll notice that everything is finally, finally, finally working as expected. There you have it. You have Vue set up with Vuter inside of VS Code. And Vuter is what's doing this syntax highlighting and formatting on save. And you also have it configured with Airbnb's linting guide. And again, the reason we're using Airbnb's linting guide is just because they're very strict. And I think their formatting styles are very concise and clear to read and understand. Yeah. I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.